Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company and on today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips I'd like to share a little story with you because I'm not going to be on the water today. In fact, I uh, was on my way to pick up Antonio. It's a gorgeous day for a great day of fishing and something suddenly happened. I got hit from behind uh, from a car and I got hit pretty good. The boat got hit uh, from behind and here's a picture of the car. You can see the damage to the car uh, significant damage to the car. It was a very good jolt from behind and uh, one of the local residents who said uh, he saw the whole incident saw the person uh, texting while they were driving so I have a funny feeling that was the root cause of the accident but what I like to do I wanna let's take a walk around the boat and show you some of the things that happened to the boat and some things to keep in mind should this ever happen to you. Okay so the first thing I want to show you to show you the jolt and how hard I was hit these straps I have on the back of the boat are normally nice and snug and you can see here how much movement there is now between the boat and the strap because the bolt got jolted forward big time. Let's take a look at the other side of the boat. Now this corner of the boat was hit harder than the other side and you can see here there's some scruff marks here but there's some good gouges in here which is exposed now uh, the inside of the boat here and here and of course this strap same thing and uh, you can see it's uh, ripped here so it took a good uh, a good bang here this definitely took a bang here and my trailer tire or my trailer light my trailer light is uh, is basically shot and it's actually ripped the metal is ripped here on the top where it's uh, secured so that's uh, definitely uh, damaged now the motor looks fine but this was definitely hit and hit hard and uh, you can see I have this 2x4 right here that I use to, uh, to brace between the, uh, the, the boat and the, and the motor to help take up some of the weight. And you can see here this actual 2x4 uh, with the jolt actually uh, broke right, right in half. But what I'm concerned about here is, and the thing you need to worry about is, what's happened on the inside structurally to, uh, to the motor. So that's, that's a concern for me. And obviously the, the whole transom now, this transom where the motor mounts on is now all um, subject to structural damage and weakening. So that's a major concern. Uh, you might not necessarily see the damage or there might be interior cracks there, but that's definitely something that's gonna have to be checked out. Okay, now inside the boat, I've got some uh, cracking on both corners here around the live well and on top, of the, on top of the boat. There's visual cracks that I could see. And as luck would have it, of course, I just filled my boat up uh, with 200 liters of gas, that's 50 gallons of gas with a full tank. And now what's happened is uh, you, you got a strong smell of, of gas coming up through here. So I'm leaving those doors open. I don't know what's happened with all that weight in that gas tank. There might be some damage in there. So that's something that uh, I'm going to have to get them to check out as well. Okay, now I mentioned the boat got jolted forward. So another area to look at is right here. This is now loose and separated a bit as it took a big jolt uh, to the front. This wheel uh, has got a, a gouge in it in the front, but what I'm really worried about is the integrity of the trailer because as you saw in the back with that light, it really took a hit. And you might not be able to see it on the camera, but right here where this trailer connects, there's a big buckle. This is buckled right in here, so I'm sure the trailer is uh, twisted a bit. And of course the front of the trailer trunk is also, uh, is also loosened. So the integrity of the trailer now also becomes questioned. So as luck would have it, you know, I was only a block away from Antonio's house when, when I got hit. But the main thing is, I mean, I'm a little bit stiff and sore, but nothing major. And same with uh, the other driver. Uh, she's okay too. So the main thing is neither of us got hurt. Things can be fixed, but you know, should this ever happen to you, take those few things into consideration and make sure that your boat gets, uh, thoroughly inspected. I definitely can't be on the on the water right now with this boat, uh, definitely not. But it doesn't mean I won't be fishing. Of course there's boatless angling, so that's for sure. And I do have some very good friends who have already been on the phone with me saying, Evo, uh, my boat is your boat anytime you need it. That's when you really know when you have good friends. But you know what folks, we will definitely continue to film and bring to you fishing tips and, uh, and good fishing adventures because that's what we like to do and I want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's story time of Thunamis Fishing Tips and I hope wherever you are that this never happens to you but if it does take those things into account and hopefully no one will get hurt. Thanks for tuning in and until next time good luck and good fishing. Come on Mr. Striper I just about had him. 
Yes! Get him in! <laughs>